So Chicanx futurity is, uh, it's not one thing. Chicanx futurity, I think, um, is a title because our goal was to signal to a future, future possibilities. And in that thinking of the future, we build on Jose Esteban Munoz's work, who's a queer scholar. The title can be read very academic, and um, but futurity to me, the concept, is really an indigenous concept. It's this idea of that our identity is evolving and is um, never static. In this exhibition, I think the futurity represents um, an open-ended desire for decolonization, for healing more specifically, um, and for something that operates outside of like the colonial capitalist matrix um, that we feel bound within in our day-to-day -day lives. And we put that word futurity next to Chicanex to signal with the X in the front and the X in the back to signal um, an indigenous searching, not the kind of romantic searching for indigeneity that may be the early Chicano movement, but actually um, thinking about searching for indigenous roots um, where every person and every family um, does the work to think about their legacies and to also see what's still alive amongst their families and communities. And the X at the end was really focused on thinking about the non-binary, trans, gender non-conforming folks who really feel that they don't quite fit in the binary of male, female, gender that's very colonized, and also to do the work of moving past the male-centered nationalist Chicano, moving towards uh, Chicana, but then being inclusive beyond even that of gender, sexuality, uh, fluidity. Art has always been a, a pivotal um, piece in our culture. You know, um, artists are visionaries, I believe. I, I think they have a way of imagining for us what is possible. They are really, I think, forging a path for how we define ourselves as a community um, for the work that we're trying to do, which oftentimes, you know, we throw around the word decolonial. Um, but what does that work look like? And I think our, our artists are at the head. They're, they're leading the way. So Gilda's billboard, Abolish Borders. It's a provocation to think beyond um, the logics that inform our contemporary society. It's not just a representational thing. It becomes the, the visual representation that drives our engagement, our, or what we, what we would call praxis in the day-to-day -day world. One of the things that, you know, as a feminist, one of the things, and as a, as a queer Chicana feminist, really queer Chicana indígena feminist, is that there's rarely images that look like you. And there's rarely art that actually speaks to your spirit and that actually moves you to understand something that um, you've never thought about yourself before. And we do have Frida Kahlo, and of course, she's amazing and I love her, but it also feels like who else do we have and who can be a guide? And I really feel that to be an artist in this world is so brave uh, because um, everything is telling you, you know, that's not a productive job or, you know, what are you going to do with that? But to really say, I'm going to honor my creativity and I'm going to create for people, for my community, knowing that it's like you're putting your heart out there. And I really feel like that's where we offer our, our heart and our deep thoughts about what our visions are for shifting the world or reimagining the world. Mm -hmm.